Hi, I'm Ashley Adamson from the Trans Thought Club. If you'd like to join our community of other trans people on their journey, you can check out the Discord link down below. Let's talk about peeing. <laughs> Standing up or sitting down. How do you pee as a trans woman? So, where do I start? I suppose I start for when I first started transitioning. My stance on peeing standing up versus sitting down was peeing standing up is a sign of being a male and a sign of having a penis. And so of course I'm gonna sit down and pee because that's feminine, that's being a woman, that feels validating. And if there's anyone seeing me pee, cause you know, you have friends and all of that. And sometimes you pee with the door open, that's going to make me feel more valid. And that's where I started. There have been moments like when I was clubbing in Berlin and I had my mini skirt on and I looked at the women's line and it was freaking too long and I really needed to pee. So instead I went into the men's restroom and they have peeing troughs in these European clubs. And I just like went up to another, I stood next to another guy and I just pulled up my skirt and just peed into the trough next to him and was like, hi, uh, hi there. <laughs> And he didn't actually bat an eyelash, which I thought was, uh, that made it a little less embarrassing for me to be there in a miniskirt peeing into a trough. But you know what? It was fine. Um, but peeing standing up is sort of this thing that if you're in a public restroom, in a woman's restroom, it's going to make a different noise. You're afraid that maybe people will see your feet and you don't want to make other women uncomfortable, right? Like these are some of the considerations that go in through my head, what are some of the considerations that go through yours? When I'm thinking that, it makes me think that I should sit down and I should uh, not pee standing up. But you know what? I actually now have a preference for peeing standing up because so one of the, I mean, pivotal thing for me was actually I started dating someone who has a disability and she peed standing up because it was easier on her legs. And once I realized that, I said, yeah, you know what? It is easier. You don't have to squat down. You can just pee standing up. So, so it's easier. You can move faster. And um, second of all, it's just more convenient. I guess that's kind of the first point, actually. Yeah, it's just more convenient. It's easier. When I do it, though, I do feel like there's this subconscious mechanism that's been locked into place since I've been a child of how it reinforces the gender stereotype of being a male. You know, like the, it's a manly thing to stand, zip your pants out, unzip your pants and then pee and being like, yeah, I'm a man, I'm peeing. And I mean, that's, is this my brain? Is this how I think? Maybe a little bit. I don't know, like if I'm trans and I'm like not knowing that I'm trans and I'm trying to validate my own gender that I think I am, I guess I could think that in order to try and reinforce the fact that I am a man. I don't know, have you done things like that where you've tried to reinforce being a man or reinforce being a woman by doing certain actions that you realize was just helping you suppress in denial who you actually are? Have you done that? So I think there is some sociological programming there. But if you can get past that, and I've certainly started to get past that, and realize, hey, it's, it's a totally valid way to pee. It's great. I really enjoy it. And you know, I try to pee on the side of the toilet bowl so I don't make a huge splashy noise in the bathroom. But I don't, honestly, I don't care if someone finds out that I'm standing and peeing. So what? I can just say I'm using a cup or I can just be like, hey, I'm, I'm just peeing here. What's the problem? What is, what is your thoughts on that? Like, if you, are you willing to try peeing standing up? Do you prefer peeing standing up? Why? I'm Ashley from the Trans Dot Club, and if you'd like to join our community and share on your journey through your transition, click the link down below in the Discord. And um, yeah, if you'd like to support me on Patreon and buy a book, that'd also be great. I'll see you in another episode soon. Please like and subscribe. Bye.